Hello and welcome. In the following, I will look at the various kinds of examinations in a degree program and discuss the types of examination and assessment options used today. Let's start with a standard degree program that consists of several modules or courses. Here, many institutions offer entrance tests for diagnostic purposes and normally all degree programs involve one or more final examinations. The entrance tests are for self-assessment but can also be used for regular entrance examinations and are often realized electronically today. And already humanoid robots are becoming important especially when it comes to individual oral entrance exams. Final examinations usually require the submission of a paper but may be also realized as project or product development in some cases. Usually the final exam must be submitted in a physical form and must be accompanied by an oral examination. At the level of modules Diagnostic exams can be used to check the prerequisites to offer optional assistance to the students and provide orientation to the instructors. When finished, modules or courses are normally certified with a specific final exam. More precisely, the diagnostic exam, which is usually optional and typically offered electronically, checks the student's previous knowledge and, if necessary, gives them advice for refreshing their knowledge. The final exam, on the other hand, is used to certify the mastery of a module and can be offered in various forms, aiming at verifying the competences and skills acquired in the module. And one more thing, final examinations should also include the aspect of teamwork. Because in a modern world, teamwork is more in demand than ever before. But let's return to the module again. In the learning units of a course or module, for example Unit 3, there are further assessment options, from diagnostic to summative. Sometimes in classical formats, but due to various new possibilities increasingly in electronic formats. And the aim of all these tests is to test knowledge, especially in digital teaching formats such as the inverted classroom it must be clear that contents offered in the learning units has sunk in, although it is also possible to check competences at this point this is usually shifted to the summary examinations at the end rather than to the individual learning units. Let's summarize. Exams with diagnostic character are mainly realized electronically. The same applies to the mastery tests in inverted classroom formats. Final exams on the other hand are still mainly pen and paper exams. But for many years now, we have been showing that electronic examinations that do no longer test knowledge, but competencies, are also possible. And one thing will happen in the not-so-distant future. The partial takeover of exams by robots, as we have already been testing within our HEART project. Digitization is definitely making its way into the examination system. We will show you in another video what such digital test formats look like and how it is not only possible to test knowledge but to incorporate competences and teamwork as well. Until then, thanks for your attention and see you soon.